Hunter, are you having fun? Yeah! Okay. first time um, vlogging since the new year it is January 6th though um, so I'm a little late on the game but um, yeah I just have not been feeling very great since Christmas I woke up Christmas Eve and just felt so sick and then I was sick Christmas Day and then all the way through New Year's Eve and New Year's Day so I'm finally now feeling like I can do things um, and just get things done and start vlogging again. Although I do still sound sick, I am sick, um, it's all like congestion stuff. So if I sound a little funny, that is why. Um, the boys are also sick. Just like with congestion and a lot of sneezing and a little bit of coughing and stuff. Um, they did have pretty high fevers in the beginning of being sick as well as me. Which, it was tough, but we got through it. I do give props to John for being sick and like having a fever and still getting up early and going to work. I'm very thankful for him for doing that and providing for us. As always, yeah, you just saw um, pretty much our morning. I got the boys some breakfast and then we walked Hunter to school. It is Monday, by the way, January 6th. I think I said January 6th. But um, yeah, we walked him to school and then I just came home with Paxton and made my breakfast. And it seems like Paxton wants some here. And sorry for this laundry. I need to go do that and then take down the other clothes and fold those at some point today. But we'll see how, um, oops. We'll see how things go. And how I'm feeling and how Paxton is feeling. Right? Are you waiting for mommy's breakfast? So he's just waiting. So I'm going to eat my breakfast. I put some PJ masks on for him. Right now he's into PJ masks right now. And um, yeah, just gonna eat and then probably go do that laundry. I also can't forget, I need to call the doctor. I've been pushing it off for so long because it's a new doctor's office and I don't know, I, don't, I just don't wanna do the whole registration thing over the phone. But I need to call the doctor. Paxton needs to get in for his two-year checkup. Um, I'm not sure if he needs shots. He might need one. But um, yeah, I need to do that today. So that is on my to-do list, like, priority. So, yeah. Uh, what is going on? I don't even know. I'm so frustrated right now. 
I just called the doctor's office and I specifically went on our insurance's website and we have state aid right now. So I went on the website when I picked the plan and I went to like find a doctor um that tab and I looked for a doctor that accepts this insurance because I didn't want to have this problem. But apparently, um, this doctor's office does not accept this insurance that we have. Um, and that's like super frustrating because I specifically picked her from their website. And also, she's not accepting new patients. So, this is just great. Um, I feel like I'm just going to switch back to the insurance that we had, still state aid, but, um, also go back to the doctor's office that we were at. I don't love it, don't even, like, really like it, but I know that since they're in the system there already, um, they'll probably be accepted to come back, so... That's so frustrating though. I did not want to have this problem. But Paxton needs to be seen. He needs to get his two year checkup um, before it's too late. He turned two December 1st. So it's been about a month since he has turned two. And yeah, I don't know. I, I also have questions for the doctor as well. And... I don't know if we should just get Hunter checked as well, like, just a checkup or whatever. Um, because he's been saying his stomach hurts, like, every night. And I don't know what that is about, so... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Don't grow up, buddy. It's too tough. <laughs> First world problems. But, um, right now we're just watching the cat in the hat because he requested putting the cat in the hat on and I still have not gone downstairs to do laundry. So I need to do that. Um, I'll probably go run down there real quick right now, throw the laundry in the wash while he is occupied with the movie. Hopefully he stays up here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That's what I'm going to do, and I am also going to try to enjoy my coffee. This is the first cup of coffee that I've had since getting sick on Christmas. So, like, it tastes weird now. Coffee tastes weird, but I don't know. I'm going to try to get back into drinking it because I am tired. I have been having a horrible time falling asleep at night. I tried to go to bed at like 10 o'clock last night and I just couldn't fall asleep and also Paxton like wakes up and he had a bad night <sighs> so yeah I don't know I'm just having trouble falling asleep at night and I don't know why so I don't get a lot of sleep as it is <laughs> so coffee is a must but I don't want to drink too much because I guess John has been drinking too much coffee and he is getting caffeine headaches now and I don't want that, so I'm probably going to limit myself to, like, one or two cups of coffee a day or, like, every other day or something. So, that's my plan. I'm going to stop talking and get to work. I just did the dishes while he played and watched the cat in the hat and um, he went through my purse. <laughs> so that's nice. Um, so I'm just going to clean this up and then hang out with him for a little bit. Still did not go downstairs to do the laundry, um, but I will get to that.
need to hang up these clothes. Paxton is napping. And I'm hoping he takes a good nap. Just because, I don't know, I'm just super tired. And, um, yeah. I have to do this and then fold the laundry that I brought upstairs already. Which I forgot to film. Sorry. <laughs> um, a million things go through my head every day and it's hard to remember to pick up the camera but um yeah i'm just gonna get this done go fold that i think i'm finally going to um finish the boys's abc wall um if you guys don't know what i'm talking about i talked about it in a different vlog but i can show you guys later when paxton wakes up but it's basically just the ABCs, I just wrote them on paper and then drew three pictures on each of the papers. So, I'll show you guys. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna get this done, even though I don't want to do it. <laughs> Okay, I said I would show you guys this, so this is what I meant by ABC wall. I just wrote out the alphabet and drew pictures for them. Most of them are laminated, some I didn't have enough lamination sheets for, so, but I did end up finishing the alphabet. All I needed was X, Y, and Z, so... And yeah, that is our ABC wall. Alright, hi guys, sorry for the lighting. I am in the car. Um, my mom let me use her car to go get Hunter from school. So I'm in the parking lot right now, but I just wanted to hop back on and kind of just end the video. Also, I just wanted to say some of my um, New Year goals for 2020. Gosh, it sounds so weird saying that. Um, but yeah, 2020, I just want to, I don't know, like, be a better mom, um, of course. And like, I don't know, just not yell as much. Um, I don't yell all the time, but like, I don't know, I just don't like yelling at my kids. But I, especially with my four-year-old, he likes to push limits and not listen and try to get what he wants um and it's hard i tell him like very nicely i say please can you do this or whatever and it takes him like 10 times of saying it to actually do it um and then i kind of just lose everything another goal that i have is to um be more present in life in reality and like with my kids with John and whatnot um sorry I keep looking around because I am in the car and I don't want people to look at me <laughs> um but maybe that could be another thing like just not be so shy vlogging in public I would like to post um more content and more quality content and what you guys want to see not just what I want to do um so yeah leave a comment down below if you have a video idea or just something that you want to see. I have two kids so um, I've been around the parenting block and back so I have some tips and tricks for you if you need advice or anything like that. Sorry I stopped filming because the person next to me was getting in the car with their child. All right hello um don't mind my hair I need a haircut but um 
yesterday I was just kind of like blabbing in the car of what I want my 2020 to be and yeah I don't know I just felt weird because I was in the car and parents were walking in and out of the school to pick up their kids so I don't know I just feel weird but um pretty much just to recap all of that blabber my goals for 2020 is to one is like a combination of things kind of like be a better mom like don't yell at the kids as much um which like I said I don't really yell at them too much but when my patience is like a zero I lose it and it's normal but I don't want to lose it as fast I guess so that um as well as be a better girlfriend I guess um to John like say I love you more and just I am appreciative of him and thankful but um I don't know I guess I don't know maybe I don't show it as much but I don't know those three things are kind of like just a combination of things and then two is I want to be more active on my social media like Instagram and YouTube um I don't really go on Twitter anymore I used to but number three is be more present in life which those two kind of clash together but um I just want to be more present in the moment and hanging out with my kids paying more attention to them um not a lot of screen time for myself or my kids i want to work out more so number four is be more active like healthier and just work out more or stretch more every day or something i don't know and the fifth and final goal that I have for 2020 and it's the fifth one because it's the hardest one for me um is to wake up early I want to try to wake up before my kids it is already like the second week of 2020 it's like what's today today is the today's the seventh so um I haven't really been doing it but today I was up at six but then I went back to bed because I just couldn't do it um so yeah I want to start waking up before my kids probably around six o'clock um it should be easy because John wakes up at five and then like I could hear him getting ready so I don't know we'll try just probably not tomorrow because tomorrow's Wednesday and those are John's off days so we all kind of um sleep in so Wednesdays I will give myself a break but I don't know maybe we'll start next week I have no idea but that is my final goal of 2020 is to wake up before my kids and kind of just like make a to-do list of what I want to do that day because I keep everything in my head and I try to like remember everything and it's super hard. So I want to try to become more visual with it and just write it down. Probably enjoy a cup of coffee or a cup of tea before the boys wake up. And yeah, just have my morning to myself. And I think I will be good for me. Um just to have that alone time before the chaos. If you are a stay-at-home mom, you know what I mean. So yeah, those are my five goals. Be a better mom, girlfriend, like not lose my patience as easily, um, be more active on social media, be more present in life, be like more active as in like working out and be more healthier and then wake up early before my kids so those are my five goals for 2020 and yeah 
I think it's good to set goals for yourself so you can see how much you have progressed within that year. Um, I didn't set really like really any goals last year. I kind of just went with the flow and um, it was just a crazy year. So this year I am going to set those five goals. I am going to write them down and just have it as a reminder every day as I go in my calendar and uh, so I could just see it and remind myself that this is what I want my year to look like. So with that said, I've just been sitting here rambling just like in the car. But with that said, we're just going to go back to the car and finish off the video. All right, got yeah, Hunter. I stopped filming because there's so many people coming and looking at me, so. Anyway, I'm just going to end the vlog right now. Um, sorry for the lighting. Oh, there, that's a little better. But if you like um, day in a life videos, week in the life of a mom, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you'd like to. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.